Well, actually, um, before we even get discussed about it, Game 3 is just around the corner, actually, in just a couple of seconds. And it's actually going to be Civil War as the home map. And again, this is a really cool map. I'm really looking forward to how this will be played out, too. And here we go, guys. Welcome, everybody. It's Call to Arms, game number three. And it's the final game of the series, of course. And it's, it's going to be between, of course, the current champion. Well, actually, the, the, the dethroned champion so far, actually. It's MBL. He's actually 2 0 behind. So before we even conclude this this series, uh, Tagal will be the new champion to take on from then on in. But nonetheless, though, we'll see how game number three is. There's always money to be, to be played for. And let's see who takes that game number three. In the blue, of course, we got Togal here as the new new champion, we could say. Who knows? But he's been playing as Britons on Civil War, and this is a pretty crazy map. I mean, you've got this sort of shoreline in between both players, of course, and their landmass. They've got very, very limited on resources of gold and stone to start with. Just a little one-tile patch of each of that. Bit of wood here and there, too. And uh, the rest of the outlines, of course, this sort of salty marsh. So you can't build anything, but you can cross it. So on and so forth. I'm going to quickly build that lumber camp down. Of course, around the outside of the map, though, there are plenty of extra gold piles, though, to then take on in. So, in the end, basically, you've got to start expanding out across the map and try and take all those important extra gold and stone resources. Relics, of course, are scattered around the map, too, but it's, it's a challenging map because you can't just do, just do a simple, like, wall up Drush FC business, really, because it's just the fact that you've got this tiny bit of gold and you get easily punished by a flush if it knows where your gold is, basically. I, in, from what I'm seeing here, you can go for a drush into a flush if you actually feel like it too. So we could see like a really heavy, full-on like feudal war here. And I, I, you know, I feel like MBO could take this game just because of the fact that he likes doing like uh, feudal war aggression. We saw it from game number one, but it didn't work out then because the gal had uh, just fully walled up. Generally, he put one defensive tower down and uh, also. Uh, MBL like kind of overextended. He was going this full all-in strat when actually Degal was actually doing a drush flush maneuver and it was ended up basically paying off that respect. <sighs> Bring that first boar in right now and actually here comes that build. Gonna start putting that house down of course. Uh, I did, sorry, I forgot to mention actually MBL Civic. He's picked up Mongols actually by the way. So yeah, definitely scouts for him from that. So, but actually he's actually got four wood there so actually I won't Round that off just yet. Start pushing in those deer as well. It brings the next boar in apparently. But the gal, you can see is Britons. Got four in the wood too. So Britons has been a very popular choice actually. It's, uh, uh, MBL picked it in his first set of series against uh, Tato. So as SMB has been sent to tier one Civ, you can call it now. So and, and, I, and I don't, I, I don't like. Uh, like, say, like, why not? I mean, like, I understand completely why. I mean, Britons, of course, cheap TCs are great. Of course, the Archer line is amazing. That plus extra range in the Castle Age and the Imperial. So, uh, and, and Viper loves it. So, there you go. It's confirmed. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Only saying it because Viper does it. <laughs> if Viper picks it, then it has to be a top tip. Um, and, of course, the Sheep Gathering Bones as well is a little bit nice to have, too. I wonder if... Oh, well, this is, this is interesting. Gonna go two on stone already. Looks like MBL's gonna click up on like 18, 17 pop. Yeah, gonna get the loom. It's gonna click up on like 19 pop. That is just disgusting. He's just gonna go for like a tower rush, then like a forward a forward mana arms tower rush. Maybe he's got barracks coming down already, actually, before clicking up, actually. Bring that last deer in. Of course, doing the nature of this map is very hard to wall off, so MBL can definitely get a nice entrance into the base too. Degal is just bringing down that barracks, actually. He has just... Has he just picked up his 10 gold? No, he hasn't, actually. Not too far away, though, so it's fine. So MBL is already halfway up to the Feudal Age. The gal hasn't even clicked up just yet. He's just about to now, though, it seems. And there we go. On the way up, he is. Going to put three on the gold, that it seems, as well. And he's going to put another Lumber Camp down at the same time. Plenty of sheep as well. Did he lame some sheep, maybe? I know there's no boar ceiling, but I think you can take sheep. 
Or he's just a magician and just conjures up extra sheep. Is there, is there extra sheep in the map? I don't, I don't see. So I'm gonna go with no. Also by the fact that I seem to the fact that Enbiel's actually run out of food source already, so it looks to me that I think he might have got lame a couple of sheep, but who knows? Nonetheless, let's move on right now, and the Feudal Age has just come in right now. Stable being popped down right, right now by MBO. It's going for extremely fast scouts already. Lush is being pumped out right now from M from uh, Dugal, but I mean, he's going to try and go for that Mana Arms option, actually, but might be a little bit too late. Palisades already been laid down here by Dugal, but he's actually going to delete them. I think it's wise to do that. I don't think it's going to work out too well from him from that perspective. But this could be the game where MBL's aggression might actually pay off quite well. The scouts will be unleashed. The four bills coming forward too. Actually, four militias actually been done here from the gals. If he walks into this and the militias actually pop out, this could be pretty. Oh, he spotted it. The four militias just come out right now. And as he hits feudal age two, one bill's actually quite weak already, half HP. And mana arms already now coming in too. He's got to keep running away. Plus two on the scout now as well. That still's going down. Has to sacrifice it. Try and get off at least one hit if he can. So already a build down going up that fast. That does not help at all whatsoever. The three builds going forward now that as well. Dugal has seen these three builds forward. He knows something's definitely up. He's going to start putting a palisade up in between those berries. And now the mana arms are out too. Now the problem Spearman. Just come out from MBL, who just took care of the Gal Scout. That's nice there. And get a couple of jabs on those Mana Arms too. Tower coming up onto those berries now as well. Yeah. Mana Arms gonna try and deny it, but it's fully walled in most of it anyway, so. Except that one tile there, actually. Oh, that's actually. Okay, he's gonna do it all. I was about to say, he doesn't do that last tile, that'd be crazy. Looks like though, MBL's gonna ignore this Mana Arms, go straight. Did he just kill him? Oh, Skinner. Okay. He's going to the wood line right now, trying to pick up what he can, but they're really close to that TC, so can't pick up any bills just yet. Tower is now up. Does kill one mana arm. Two rangers now also down as well. Arch is starting to come out as well. That gold starting to get worked down a little bit. Let's see what these scouts can really try and get done. Another tower being popped down as well. It's going to Couple of wood line, of course. Well, here we go. Village is gonna fill on Ville wall right now. He just wants to deny this from getting up at all. He wants to stop this from doing any more harassment to the con. He wants to protect the wood line, of course, and of course the uh, farms that will probably come up in the near future. So, really wants to get this tower pushed away. The scouts have now come back ready for blood. And uh, the gal kind of really fell with that. He didn't target the village, just targeting the tower itself. And oh, he's gonna go back in for it once more. Spearman now coming out too. Gotta be careful here. Pop inside, try and pick off the uh, Spearman. There we go, very low HP now. It's be easy picked off as well. Bill's just going to take that tower down though, regardless anyway. Another Spearman going to get into the fight as well. And this tower does go down actually. And it looks like MBL's going to go on a retreat. Spearman picks off one scout as well. That's a really good job there. Meanwhile though, a couple of mana arms and a couple of archers getting into the economy of course. This archer range is up with a skirmish or two. And even a Spearman as well getting into the action. Looks to me that actually MBL managed to actually push us away without too much damage being inflicted on him. So pretty action-packed already to the start of this game. Now it looks like that Tagal's probably going to start heading out across the map and actually going to go for that extra gold. And that's actually a really nice place for him, actually, right at the back of the map. So. Pretty safe, in, in sub, to some degree, of course. I mean, of course, it's quite far away, but because of the back as well, it's it's uh, at least a little bit safer in general. It's like a couple more archers secured inside that archer range, of course. Scouts on, on the prowl, looking to try and pick up a bill that's at least isolated. I think what would be best right now for MBO is to... Well, you can try and hit this wood line here, that's for sure, for one thing. Especially that builder is a little bit weak. But he could just try and start scouting out the rest of the map and try and see where those extra gold bills or the gals are. Because he has to realize he's been making archers. There's only one gold pile in his base, so he has to expand it out by now, or going to at least. Yeah. 
picks off one more archer right now with this uh, scout. So it's amazing actually considering how weak one of them is. Ready. The moment to pick off one here. One of the skirmisher could go down as well. The spearman does come in time though. And looks like the scouts will be moved out of the way. A couple of skirmishes up in the north as well. But they're looking a little bit idle. Just standing there. Chilling. Waiting for that fletching upgrade it seems. Meanwhile though it looks like a counter attack movement is coming out of the gal though. See where he goes actually to try and pick off. Still plenty of stone actually being gathered by both players it seems. The gal's at 380 in the bank already and MBR's probably got a good couple of hundred as well. So he needs to, could put a tower for this wood line actually. He feels extremely threatened by it, but he's got a few skirmishes back at base here, but definitely nowhere near enough. No, it's not looking pretty. So those are just getting there right now. Now MBL sees what's going on. Now he's going to start bringing the bills into the fight right now. It's a little quick check what's going up at the top though. It's like a few skirmishes and the scouts trying to get in the action, but not as successful really. Whilst at the south, well, he's brought a lot of bills off that wood line. One or two bills could go down as well, but they are being pushed back actually at least anyway. Manages to hold off, but with a little bit of I idle eco time from both players, actually, really, so nothing much is lost from that. That tower is still up, actually. I'm, 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 I must be filled with, uh, with uh, units. Yeah, actually, no, two bills. Wow, that's really surprising. That really is surprising, actually. I would have thought we would have put them back into good use by now. Meanwhile, though, up at the top, looks like he's finally getting on the, on the prowl to find those bills, and looks like he's going to actually as well to see the fog of war. He does, he sees them, he sees the tower also coming up, but with one bill, definitely not going to go up anytime soon, and actually he's going to get denied, of course. These bills are so exposed, and they're going to get taken down in a jiffy. And there's nothing that can stop them either. I mean, look at the rest of the army coming out of Dugao. That, of course, the units fire too far away. The, the spearman is just too slow as well, and... There we go, there goes down four villages. One scout goes down, but it does a trade-off. That's brilliant by him. Picks up the Spearman too. Now it looks like he could go for the re-engagement here. Hasn't got bloodlines on the scouts, but it doesn't matter really too much. Just pick off those, uh, those skirmishes, and look at that. Pushing back the Gao already. Which is really well played so far, actually. 22 for 10 on the KD front as well. That's, that's incredible. Bill count as well, 28 for 32. MBL just sneaking ahead, just thanks to those four villager kills just then. Meanwhile, though, down in the south, actually, it was like a nice mining camp there, nice efficiency, grabbing both the gold and the stone. But archers and the skirmishes will also deny this from MBL. A couple of bills that could go down as well at the same time. Now, Scout looking to try and get involved right now, start picking up at those units, but looks like it wasn't actually from MBL's own decision there. Now he's definitely going back for the re-engagement with that. Looks like he will try and pick up what he can actually. There we go, actually doing a really good job there. So good efficiency, good trades coming out of this actually. Should probably delete that tower actually, it's not actually being built and has no purpose. Wow, those two will actually stay alive. Meanwhile though, the rest of the skirmisher army coming up, MBL is going to push that tiny small army back to where it belongs. Who's probably close to clicking up right now? Well, MBL's not terribly far away, considering whilst the gal is miles, miles away. Uh, this, is, this could get pretty dangerous. It'd be interesting what MBL then goes for. If he goes for like uh, least Spamish, we will go into Full Knights. Full Knights could work quite well here, actually. Especially the fact that the gal's going extremely heavy skirm build here. And actually, it looks like as well as two bills on the way back to the gold pile as well. Uh, scout there at the same time though. Oh, it is too low HP actually. That last scout now finally being picked off too. Nothing else really going on right now. Just a little bit of harassment here and there, and so no real like full on in. <laughs> it's still pretty uh, like action packed, but not to the same extent as we've seen from a couple other games. But saying that though. Two forward stables coming down from MBL. Blimey, that is bold of him. And he's actually just clicked up to the castle as well. So 
they're the two four stables definitely going to be knights or even light cav option coming out probably the knights actually as right now a couple of archers and a couple of skirmishers trying to get involved trying to deny us the tower is there though which should help him one stable does go up but I'm a little bit worried here because the fact that that Dugal now sees it yeah exactly he's going to put another tower forward and then just wall around those stables what MBL needs to have done is put a stable uh, sorry put a tower around here and that would have stopped this from being walled up because I'm very worried at what's going to happen to you here we go look at this yeah Start walling up those stables. MPL needs his entire army over there to make it. Look. It was just too forward. He, he probably should have put it further back as well. Because now it's going to start getting walled up. But here comes the response right now for MBL. Got a few skirmishes getting involved here. But not probably, but good micro coming out of MBL. They're just picking off those archers to begin with. And yeah, doing a, doing a really good job here actually. For that. Boom. Making it look easy. Now drops the third stable right now. And GG being called by Dugal. I think he realized that MBL was up. And there we go. Another fairly quick game. This series has been actually, to some uh, regards, quite quick. Uh, you could say, oh, uh, you, you know, like, how are you guys? Like, why didn't they play on for longer? But for Dugal, there was no way he was clicking up. MBL is about to hit up to Castle Age with three stables at least. With a four stable coming down with Bloodline. He's going to go all in Knights. And there was nothing really that Dugal could do to stop it, basically, as well. It's that sort of map type. Sometimes it can be one of those games where it's a race of who could be up first. And uh, it actually was done by MBL. So the, the series ends 2-1. Um, so uh, congratulations to Dugal. He, he is the... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's all three games. <laughs> MBL for getting those three games. But um, that's pretty it to summarize the game. I mean, like, it probably, probably might be a little bit disappointed about this last game not being as exciting. But I actually quite enjoyed it, actually. I like the Cadol Heavy Feud Awards. Good play by MBL as well. He, um, yeah, he, it's, it's kind of suited, to his, to suited this map to him a little bit, actually, to be fair. I'm surprised the guy actually kind of chose it. But it was really good nonetheless, actually. MBL exploited all corners of the map, I think, in terms of... Uh, those villager pickoffs, especially at the back there as well, was pretty, that's a big. That was a key mistake there by the gal actually not having a tower up or even having it all fully walled up like the uh, goal pile. That was the, probably the biggest problem. But there we go, GG, well played. Have a look at those achievements before uh, we round it all off. Villa, thanks for nudging me. Um. 45 to 45. Look, look at that though, as well. Look, the micro was really good there from MBL. Like 25 to 45. <laughs>